If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We have another um, pretty original deck that actually won. I don't. I think it won the Chill tournament on Wednesday, which had over 80 players, and it's a really cool concept of a welder box deck featuring a bunch of different attackers and the versatility of Aurora Energy in order to be able to utilize them to their full potential. Um, we have Rhyperior V for the fighting type to cover Eternatus, of course. Drill Run is a pretty cool attack, discarding energy. But heavy rock artillery is what we want to use in order to um, one kill those Eternatuses and wreck them that way. We also have double Milotic V so that Aqua Impact can take care of Senti Scorch. So that's two decks that we have covered with typing and the very easy um, attack costs of a single colored energy and colorless for the rest. Then we have. Um, we have fire type attackers to deal with all the metal types, including Station, Samacenta, and Lucario Mill Metal. We have Heatran with the Burning Road ability, Steaming Stump, and Hot Burn GX. Hot Burn GX is also pretty key in order to deal with ADP and dealing 300 damage as soon as you can. We have Victini V as well to deal extra damage with Energy Burst and potentially set up through Spreading Flames. We have uh, Turkle V for the Steam Crush to continue with the energy removal trend and Combustion Pillar, not super useful, but it's all about um, moving energies. We have uh, Volcanium to help establish energy on the board. We have Vika Bolt, which its attack does require double lightning, so it's not as um, nice, if you will, as Rhyperior or Milotic, but there's also less stuff weak to lightning than there is uh, weak to water or fighting. Um, so Super Zap Cannon can be useful to take down uh, Intellion VMAX, however uh, Paralyzing Bolt can help you slow down the game a little bit, which is also very very useful. And we have Dog Wool as an overall good attacker all around, uh, Soft Wool gives you extra protection by reducing the damage, and then you have Revenge Blast doing 120 plus 30 more damage for each prize card. Your opponent has taken so towards the end of the game it becomes incredibly incredibly powerful the dna and eldegas and crobat for support and then the deck of Lee relies on welder which is why we have four welders and four poke gears we also have quick bolts and poke gums to get the right attackers for the right situations a bunch of energy a bunch of giant cards and a bunch of switching cards and then in case we're able to utilize lieutenant surge especially through eldegas uh, we can potentially go double welder to power up for heatran gx or we can go welder and boss on the same turn which is not always uh which is never usually an option but thanks to um thanks to surge it actually might be so let's see how we can do in the ladder with this deck I've always been um i don't know like rather not always lately i've found myself to be the most comfortable through playing welder based decks so due to different things i need to do i haven't been able to play in online tournaments um lately but i'm hoping to play in the um in the sunday open this upcoming weekend so we'll see how that goes and champions path came out today um i feel like so I'm still decided whether you want to go first or second with this deck. I'm actually going to say second because then you get a chance to weld or you get a chance to apply pressure. You also have the option to um, 
potentially lock items, but um, but establish Volcanion and apply pressure that way. Um, so yeah, Champion Path came out today. I am recording this on Friday. You'll be watching this on Saturday. However, like honestly, there isn't a lot that's worth it from Champions Path. Like the VMAXs are pretty underwhelming. Um, I don't know. It feels like a pretty underwhelming set, if you will, um, competitive wise, right? Obviously collector wise, there's so much value in the set, but overall it doesn't seem that, that great. Okay. So my player, all he sees is a big old, right? So he could suspect peak around me, he could suspect many things. Probably doesn't suspect Welder Box immediately. And now we don't have an actual psychic type attacker to deal uh, to deal damage through weakness to the Mewtwo. So that could potentially be a problem. Also give him give them giant cards for their for their welders. Uh, we get it for ours as well, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Right. Right. Six, six second use, not a big deal. You see the Charizard. Charizard GX definitely useful against um, Picarum, right? So you get a straight up one kill. My opponent just getting everything on turn one. Right? Just starting Quick Bolts and Cherish Bolts. Dead changing away Poke Gear and Charizard GX. I feel like I would have played the Poke Gear just because you can. Like, it probably won't change anything, but. Okay, and that Poke Gear you wouldn't play, right? Because now, what if I'm Marty? You're down a Poke Gear and the Welder is at the bottom. So that makes absolutely no sense to play in that situation, but to each their own, right? To each their own. So how am I going to deal with Mew 3? I actually don't know. I can potentially get a KO on Victini with my Lodic, but then we know my opponent as Welder and he would just return KO immediately. So maybe it's better to establish energy and try to go for the Volcanion play. Uh, double definitely useful. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Pokecom away the Turkle. Nah, you know what? I'll keep the Turkle. And I'll grab Volcanion, right? I think that's worth it. And then I will Quick Ball away the card. For Dedene, for sure. How many switches? I only have three switches, so that's not ideal. I'm gonna choose not to attach energy because I do have access to Gen card if I need to. Um, Okay, I do find Welder. And I have the Aurora. And I even have the Mylotic. So the question is, who do I Welder to? I feel like item locking might be the way to go, honestly. I feel like item locking is gonna be the way to go to slow down things, right? So I'm just gonna Welder one. Okay, not not terrible, not fantastic, but not terrible. I did find the switch, which I could have used still, but I guess it's gonna be a slow and steady wins the race, right? And if I take down Victini with Vigo Ult whilst establishing enough energy on the board for Heatran, that seems pretty reasonable. Now, he'll probably power up Victini though, yeah, <laughs> to apply pressure back. So that's not ideal. It is a welder that he didn't use on Mewtwo, however, but he does two hit KO me, so that is a problem for sure. It's certainly a problem. I don't know. This is this is a weird spot to be in. Maybe this low approach wasn't the best. 
Maybe this low approach wasn't the best. Oh, I guess he played the Poke Gear because he saw I have the double, right? That's fair. That's actually pretty fair. Um, I don't see my Lodic being too useful now, since I didn't... Like, I could have knocked out the lead team, which is crazy. Okay, can I find another Welder? I can, so that's good. So let's go ahead and do that. And we get another Welder, which is fantastic. And... Okay, so... Definitely not in a good spot. Mewtwo seems like a bad matchup for this, right? You have no typing coverage. If I had this, if I had welded onto my Lodic, I could have gotten the KO once again. I'm basically gonna need another welder. <laughs> and not like that might not even be enough. It probably won't be enough actually. Oh wow, he decided to attach energy. I don't KO, I'm 10 damage short of the knockout with um, Torkoal B, so that's not great. It's actually not great at all. Oof. Okay, I mean, I can get boss and bring this guy up though. That might be the play. I think that's gonna be the play. When I use boss, so I'm gonna go boss this guy, stamp him down to four, attach energy, and then go steam crush. Can he not draw welder, please? Please. He's only done one though. And he has giant cards, so... Poke here. Well, there. <laughs> okay. That's that. Right? He uses giant cards, he welders, he can GX KO me with Incinerator GX, then I'm left with nothing in play and no way to return KO or finish off or anything, so... Oh, well, sees definitely a tough matchup like I can't see how you would need to play psychic type attacker right which I'm sure there is a splashable psychic type attacker isn't Indidi like doesn't Indidi attack for one energy like one psychic energy I'm pretty sure it, did. it does attack for one psychic energy so that would be a good option and choose to go second once again I feel like I I don't know I feel like I probably took a lot of wrong decisions there. But now we get to start Volcano. So that simplifies our um, our initial turn, right? That definitely simplifies our initial turn. Uh, we have to detonate to search for the right attacker. We have access to my Lodic in case it is a fire deck, which I don't think you would expect it to be. It's actually Picaron with uh, Reshi's Heart. Uh, our hand gets shuffled, that's fine. Uh, well, it's not fine because now we're dead drawing. It's actually not fine because now we're dead drawing. So what makes you decide to use reset stamp on turn one? Like it's six random cards and then you give them six brand new random cards, right? It's impossible to tell. It works out for my opponent, right? But I feel like that's more in my terrible luck other than anything. More than anything, rather. Okay. I mean, my plan is to flare starter no matter what, right? That's basically the only thing I can do. No Pigram in play, no Coco in play. All those things are pretty good. No energy down either yet. Does play the scoop up net, that's fine. Can we get back to back right peers? I really doubt it. But we might be able to get um, right peer into Heatran Chaos, perhaps. We'll see. We shall see. He's already lost a boss and the Eldegoss, so that's really good news for our Rhyperior that's going to be sitting on the bench. That's a good top deck. 
That is so good that I'm actually gonna bench the Victini and draw three extra cards. Okay, and now I can Dead Age change, which definitely seems worth it. Out of both of these, I feel like I might use Vika Bolt. I'm definitely not using my Lodic, and there's two my Lodics in the deck anyways. Um, I'm not happy about losing both the Fire and the Fire Crystal, but it is what it is, you know? And the switch. So all the, these three cards are very valuable to be losing here, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely should take this opportunity to Welder. No, I don't want to bench the Volcano. I want to use um, Giant Hearth, right? Okay, and then I'll do this, power up the Rhyperior. And, huh. Is there merit to power up to our goal? I believe there is. There's also merit to keeping the bench space open, so I'm gonna choose that instead. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach one here, one here, two here. That seems solid. Okay, now Rapier is looking pretty solid, right? I mean, other than Rapier being literally a rock solid Pokemon. <laughs> um, like, it's already powered up, right? I somehow top deck Quick Ball, Pokecom, or um, Eldegoss, I would be able to boss, but I don't have a switching card, so never mind. So maybe that extra energy should have gone to Volcania to plan for that, perhaps. So we're gonna be playing basically a game of chicken here, most likely. Um, like, is he gonna paralyze me? Am I gonna paralyze him? What are we all gonna do? He's really going out of his way to Star Wish, so his hand is probably not fantastic. Probably not a great hand. You see a great arm. We're gonna see a third change. Maybe the Coco Prism is surprised. That would be ideal, right? That would definitely be ideal. Well, that's the second boss, right? Okay, so now I, now it would be lovely to top the Quick Ball or Eldegoss or Boss or Pokemon. However, Given how my opponent is playing, he's probably just gonna end up paralyzing me. He's down two scoop of nets and two switches, and he has no Stellar Wish. And he hasn't attached, so he needs Energy Switch plus Switch, or Energy Switch plus Scoop of Net, or Energy plus Switch, or Energy plus Scoop of Net. Attaches to Pikram and passes, okay. Alright, so I get a Welder. Which I'm not thinking it's gonna be like fantastic. I think it's good by Torkoal. Well, you know what? Okay, so what if I try to get the boss? Uh, yeah, oh, Eldegoss doesn't actually matter. <laughs> um, no, I, it's too greedy. I'm just gonna research. Uh, losing the Wilder, losing the Stamp, losing the Aurora, all of those bad things, right? It's what I have to go for. Um, okay. I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna discard the V-Gold. I'm definitely not gonna be using V-Gold anytime soon. Still have another Wilder, and I have Eldegoss, I have Switches. I'm gonna take a prize card here. There's nothing to write home about, honestly, but like, it's not gonna be easy for my opponent to take a knockout on the right here, right? Like, that's a lot of HP. Dealing extra 30 damage with uh, Pikram. It doesn't even, like, what? He promotes Choo Choo? Is he really expecting to go double energy switch attach GX KO? Or does he not know about the bonus effect? Okay, no, he just chooses to do that. Okay, 
So, I get to quick ball and hopefully, um, hopefully poke gear into a boss, right? That's the dream. I have two bosses, I have 17 cards, so my chances are not fantastic, but there are some chances and there's the boss. So I'm thinking here, I would really like to not deal with paralysis. So I'm thinking this is the guy to, to KO, right? And then I don't expect to need another Rhyperior at this point. I think uh, the double will be more useful, so I'm getting rid of that guy. And then we'll deal 1 million damage to that poor Choo Choo. 1 million damage to that poor Choo Choo. We unlock a Welder and a Fire Crystal, which is fantastic to see. How many energy does this attach? Three, okay. And then... Ooh, Mimikyu, but doesn't put... If he had put a damage counter on Heatran, that would have actually been... Scary-ish, right? Scary-ish. Because actually... Oh, Victini can take a knockout, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Victini can now take a knockout. So let's just take the KO with Victini. If you had put the damage counter on the Heatran, then Victini would have still been the hero. There we go. Easy. Not easy, but... Um, Pikram right now definitely feels like the weakest Pikram since Pikram came out. And you could see there how... Um, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. My opponent also didn't draw Stellarly, right? My opponent didn't draw Stellarly, so that factored in for sure. That factored in for sure okay we win the coin flip i'm gonna choose to go second getting energy to play with volcano is just so clutch okay well we need a welder please <laughs> pretty please at least double is like super bulky i like double at least he's super super bulky and we're up against the carmel metal okay so that's good because we're a fire deck but the fact that we start with a non-fire pokemon is terrible it can still be fixed though through Heatran. Can still be fixed through Heatran though. So because we have the switch. So Pleat Welder. Uh... <laughs> well. Ripperoni. No quick pulls, no Poke Cubs. We get a Poke Gear and we fail it. Oh my god. Oh well. Like, we're not out of the game at all, right? And that Luke Arnold Metal is gonna take a while <laughs> to take us down. Definitely gonna take a while. He just discarded a, um, a weakness card energy, so that's important to take note of. It's very, very important to take note of. See, Metal Saucer onto Seishan. Yeah, Seishan is a scary person. Seishan is definitely the scary one. Taking all the late game cards, not the early game cards. Alright. survive. I feel like my opponent would have definitely been in a much better spot just using Intrepid Sword rather than doing 20 damage. 
That would have given him much better chance. Well, I guess he still needs that chip damage to get a KO, so never mind. Never mind, never mind. He does need the chip damage to take the KO. I didn't even get to KO Duralo done. <laughs> oh, did he get it? Yeah, he gets it. Okay, nice. Well, <laughs> what can you do, right? Draw pass, watch your opponent play. It's never a good sign. Never ever a good sign. All right. Okay, so the deck has its weaknesses. It can function properly. Um, we saw it work really well in two games, just the first one, Mew3 is just a terrible matchup I feel for this deck. Uh, the second match was back to back. Entertaining deck, definitely something outside the box in case you're looking for something like that. Um, I don't feel the video probably shows its true true potential, it did win the tournament. So I would definitely encourage you to try it out if you're tired of just playing alternatives and ADP over and over. That's going to be it from me. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.